So would I want to cut it, the face, in half? Like you could. I, like I say, we'll, we'll undo these edges. Come on, switch to... I don't want these faces unselected. These faces should be unselecting my ear. Selecting the ear. There we go. So there's the there's the ear ones we made. See how they got they got lobbed off and not part of that. Mm. So let's take off the parts of the neck that we don't want. Go to the front view of his face. Create your face based on camera. There's just a The whole head? Uh -huh. Two UVs. You know, Can I do it that way? Uh -huh. we, could, we still have to do some cutting up. Like, I just want the front of his face. We've got a good edge loop here. I can cut that edge loop off. I will take that edge loop. Take the UVs, Let's grab the whole shell. So there's just the front of his face. And there's the back of his head. There's just the front of his face. Then this one we can relax. I mean, not relax. So there's his, there's his face laid out. So yeah, if you face on camera, cut where you want the scene. So if I just unfold this, this will turn purple too? No, this will, you probably have to cut this one down the back. Like grab the edge. If we cut this down the back, maybe down the front here. Let's just cut that. Show our borders. So let's sew him down the center here so he doesn't come apart. And how do you sew them? These are the sewing buttons. See where the lines are darker? That's where the seam is. Okay. And so if I grab the edges, my move tool, you can sew those and the line will go away. And then now I can grab his ear. These edges are part of his ear, right? See how that orange line is orange? That line is orange? Mm-hmm. When I move it so that like the ear's gonna stick on his head. Mm -hmm. grab, grab this ear and stick it to his head. Ah. Uh, we'll grab this whole thing again and. But don't don't I not want that one sewn on the ear that we didn't fix? Yeah. Well, you're gonna go. You're since you recorded this, you're gonna go back and do the sewing. Oh. Okay. Let's see how we can, we can get that in there. Let's see, let's take this guy and flip it. Move tool, everything. Flip them. Unfold these. So there's the back of that head unfolded. So you just get me back where you fixed my ear. No, well, it's still there. I'm not going to go back and fix that ear again. But. Because when you fix that other ear, you'll, you'll have to redo all of this. So there's the sides of his head. You can sew those as part of this, too. Move and sew that one on. Move to edge. Grab those, too. That was interesting. I meant to do so. There we go. 
that had popped up there. Am I going to be sewing all of them together? Well, you want to have as few seams as possible. Oh, okay. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just take his whole, take his whole body, unitize him. Oh. <laughs> right, what that does is it makes each face into one, into one, you know, there's, every one of these is a seam, uh -huh. each face would be its own painting. So that doesn't work for that doesn't work for painting. Okay. So we we want it. We're gonna try to organize it into like a like a pelt for an animal. Like you cut him up and lay it flat. Oh yeah, like how you told us yeah. with the bug and you take pins and put it in. Mm -hmm. so that's what we're doing here. You're just making a pelt out of. So thanks, Chad. Yeah. Go on.